Hey everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're brand new here, um, this is the place to be if you are interested in arts and crafts and having some fun, not taking life so, life so seriously and just enjoying the process. So today's YouTube video is going to be creating some of these little pop-ups for your phones. So I ordered these on Amazon. I'll give you the link down below so you can um, check them out. I think they come in a kit of 50. You probably can get them in less if you want to make less of them, but I have been buying these things um, and they're like $9.99 or $14.99 US. And uh, so I thought I must be able to make these myself and throw a little resin on them and, and make them um, artsy and craftsy and having something that's a little bit more me. Hi, I'm Kelly Chassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll never miss one. I also have full monthly online classes and tutorials on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com. And I do have over 10,000 students and over 15 years of experience teaching art classes. Everybody has, a, almost everybody has a phone nowadays. Uh, I have a track phone, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm debt free, uh, simple living. I try to keep things as simple as possible. So we have track phones and guess what you guys, you can buy an iPhone and mine's a 6S um, as a track phone. Uh, you don't have to have your monthly plan. So I paid, I think it's like $129 a year for my phone. I pretty much work from home and I bring my phone with me when I go out. So I do have some, um, some, what is it? I don't even know what you call it. Is it, well, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. See, this is why I, me and technology don't get along. Um, what is it? Gigabytes? Anyway, I can use my phone when I'm out. If I have to make, you know, calls when I'm away from home, I still have cellular access. I don't really go through a whole lot of it. As a matter of fact, I tend to accumulate every year more and more. So I have got lots of data. So if I'm out now, I've had my track phone for many years. I've got plenty left over. So, you know, if you uh, are using it every day and you're constantly using your cellular data, that's probably not for you. But if you're like me and I use everything at home, on Wi-Fi, I use my phone all the time. And it's a great camera for recording. That's what I'm recording my YouTube video on right now. I do have actually a video. I never know which side it's on, but uh, I'll pop it up here for you. Um, what I use for some of my YouTube videos. Okay, so this is what I got in the mail. Ooh. I think I ordered, I think there was 50 of them, as I said before. So they have, well, they've got little bags. <laughs> I have already opened this one, so this was, I think, was in a bag when I first got it. Um, so this is kind of nice. So once we're done, oh, see that? Jumped right out of there. So once we're done, we can, um, I guess this is just for packaging. Yeah. So I can slide them in there for sale. Put a little price tag on them. That's kind of neat, huh? So I didn't know that came with it, but uh, oh my goodness. So this is what they look like, and they have a 3M sticker, which is probably pretty good quality. Um, and then it's just a smooth, glossy finish. It's plastic on top, and um, I'm hoping these are going to hold up. I'm going to test one and see how it holds up with the resin on top of it. But uh, yeah, so you can make tons of these. And like I said, they were, I've been buying them. They're about $9.99 or $14.99 a piece for these. So if, uh, they're not the pop-up brand, whatever that brand was, Popables or something like that. They're, um, I guess they're just 3M. I'm not really sure what, what brand it is, but um, so there you have it. And this is what we're going to use. So let's get ready to go. All right, so let's get started. I actually was trying to film this in the evening, so I apologize. It's not quite as clear as what it usually is. Uh, so I have my art resin here. If you are brand new to resin, you're not quite sure what this is. I do have a full online class, which is called the Abstract Art. We do it on Clayboard, and I actually cover resin 101 in that class. But if you're familiar with resin, you, you may already know what's going on here. So I'm using some powdered pigments here to tint my resin now. Doing a little bit of blue. 
just adding it. Now this is a powdered form and I'm just going to stir this up. Getting there really good. I love this color. It looks very oceany. And this one has a little bit of shimmer to it too. So I had just a little bit too much of the powder pigments. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the clear to that. And then for our second color, we're going to make more of a sand color. See how pretty that is. Now my, my poppers are actually white already. And so I'm just going to put the colors on top of it. I really don't need a whole lot of clear for this, but I'm doing another project along with this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to have a little bit more mixed up here than what you would need. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of resin here. I think I have a total of oh, it's probably eight ounces, maybe in total mixed up. So I'm going to add a little bit of the brown to that. So I want to darken it just a little bit more. It actually might be too dark. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I might just stick with the blue and the white. We'll see. Uh, and then I have, instead of using the powdered form of white, I'm going to use a little bit of the high flow uh, powder or high flow acrylic. So you'll notice this is really runny. This is not the same as regular acrylic paint, which is more thick. Uh, I find that this works really well for tinting my resin because it's not doesn't have a lot of water in it and you're not going to uh, make your resin sticky by using this one same with the powder pigments so I'm going to mix this one up and then we're just going to get ready to pour on top of our poppers so I'll leave you the link down below as I said before for these I purchased them on Amazon they have them on Etsy they have them everywhere there's a lot of places you can buy them and I like to put them down flat when I'm doing them and you do have to be careful you don't over pour your resin when you're using these because it, it will go off to the side. Now I didn't tape these up or anything. It's just plastic underneath. So when you're making these, once you've added it on there and it's cured for about 24 hours, you can actually peel the excess resin if anything drips over the edges. You can peel it right off because you're peeling it off of the plastic. You do have to be careful because you have the tops which are plastic as well. So you wanna make sure that those are on there really well. So I'm going to add a little bit of the clear here, the white. I was trying to do that beach scene, but these are just so small and um, I got a little frustrated. <laughs> so I, you've probably seen them before where you'll they'll pour the alcohol inks on them and then use a hairdryer and blow it around. And I've, I've got a wave painting that I did many years ago that I actually did this, this technique on, but it was a, like a 20 by 24 painting. So uh, this is harder for me to do on smaller. I've seen people do them smaller and good for you. <laughs> I, I just, like I said, don't have patience, especially when I'm working small. So we're just going to add the white right in there. And that is pretty much it. You can see I did not use a whole lot of resin again because I won't, don't want that to pour over the edges. So you, you may need to take a toothpick and just you know, drag it around a little bit on the edge if it hasn't filled in over your entire top. And then we're just going to cover those and we'll let them dry for 24 hours. Oh, let's go ahead and throw some of this on here. This is, stuff is so pretty. I'm feeling very Christmassy right now. So this is called a shaved ice it's by stampendous and this one is from amazon as well so i'll leave you the link for that down below as well it just looks like snow and glitter and it's just really iridescent and beautiful on on many many things so i let that dry for 24 hours and here is the finished piece you can see these pop up and close and if you haven't seen these before these just go on the back of your cell phone so you can slip your finger in there almost looks like you're wearing a ring when you're holding it um, and these, you know, they're sold, they're sold everywhere. And so I made some of these for Christmas presents this year, including one for myself. <laughs> um, so they came out beautifully. As I said, just uh, make sure that you've got that um, fully dry and make sure that you take off any excess. I had a few drips on a couple of them and it just peeled right off. So I'm going to see how these work out after a long period of time because they are on plastic. Hopefully they will stay attached on here. 
I'll let you guys know down below in the comments later on how it went. I put some lobster shells in this one because, you know, we're in Maine and people love lobster shells and stuff. So uh, those are in there. It's got a little texture in this one. I could always put another coat on top of, of clear resin if I wanted to, but I kind of like the texture on it. If you want to learn more about resin, go ahead and check out my online courses. I've got lots of little projects on there. And if you're new to resin, I'd recommend the bundle class because that one has six different courses all together. So that will really give you an idea of how to create. So I'm just going to quickly put one on here to show you. So this is my Fine Art America case that I ordered online. If you're interested in learning more about how you can download your photos into Fine Art America and print your own art out, I'll put the link up here for you as well. So I have um, a little bit of residue from my old pop-up on there. I didn't clean that off for a sorry. Uh, so this is the finished piece. I've decided to do the one obviously with the lobster. So it matches my lobster on my casing here. And I'm going to pull my 3M sticker off. And we're going to attach that right to the back of our phone case. And I'm just going to push down really good. Make sure we've got a nice firm seal on there and then pop it up. And that's what you use them for. I didn't know what these things were. I thought someone had rings on the first time I ever saw this. It was a younger, a younger person. I'm like, oh, I would love your ring. She says, it's not my ring. She goes, these uh, hold my phone. I'm like, well, I need one of those. So there you go. You guys can make them yourself. I would love to see them. Make sure you share them and tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you make them. Check out the community if you're in my online classes. We'll be doing lots more things in there in 2020. So thanks for hanging with me today. Make sure you click that like and share button. We may see you next week. We may not, depending on how the week goes. I know it's a busy time of year. If not, happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye.